This right here feels weird. Hey everyone, this is Abby, your favorite hygienist here at Two Time Family Dentistry. In today's video, we're gonna go ahead and show you a, a T loop wire. But first, you know the drill. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment below any content you'd like to see. This is a patient who started her treatment in September of 2021. We are currently in her 14th month of treatment and in today's visit, we're gonna go ahead and change her wire. As you can see here, we're gonna go ahead and take off her colored O's, which are also her single colors, and then her lower 66 chain and her upper two to two chain. There's no pattern that needs to be followed when taking off the colored O's by a dental professional, either if they wanna go left to right, top and bottom, or if they wanna remove one single at a time, that's perfectly up to them, but nothing should bother you at all. As you can see here in this patient, we're removing what we call the ligature ties that we placed on. These help engage the wire better to the bracket and then it creates a better activation as well in either rotating the teeth or lining the bite. As you can see here, we are removing what we call a infinity football lace tie. So in this patient, it went from the upper two to two, which is from your upper left lateral to your upper right lateral. And what this is doing, it's helping create an anchor from preventing any shifting of those particular teeth as we're aligning and shifting other teeth in the mouth. This is placed underneath the wire, which first is placed on the brackets and then the wire is placed over it. Usually what happens in this case is that you tend to create a lot of buildup of plaque accumulations and food debris. So you always have to make sure that you use those home care recommended products that we recommend. We will link below in our storefront that you can go ahead and invest in. As you can see here, there's some more ligature ties that we're having to remove. We use what we call our methyl tool to go ahead and twist and then just take it right off. We're gonna go ahead and remove the top wire because we're gonna place a new one on top. So on the bottom, we're gonna go ahead and leave the one that we have, which we call a 19 by 25 stainless steel. And we're gonna go ahead and refresh the lower 66 chain that we had on the bottom, which you might know as a power chain. You might feel a little discomfort when placing the power chain as it holds a lot of retention, but rest assured, it shouldn't be painful. I believe that it's always so fun coming into the orthodontist. The best part is picking out the colors that you can choose to wear on your braces. You can always make it really fun by doing patterns, meaning red and yellow, red and yellow, or red on top, yellow on bottom, or you can be festive and go with the holidays of that season. What's your favorite color that you look forward to getting whenever you go get your colors changed out? I'd say mine is probably the lime green. I really love that color. It's very bright, loud, and would probably some might say I can be <laughs> in a good way. So you can see here, we're gonna go ahead and now place the top wire. This one on top is called a reverse curve T loop wire. Now it holds a lot of force as what the reverse curve does, it's kind of shifting your bite at a different direction. So like sometimes, let's just say your teeth are flared out, like let's say a Pringle, we're gonna kind of flare them back in, bring your bite a little in, but also close some of the spaces that you have on the top or the bottom. Because this is a wire that gives a lot of force, I would highly recommend to maybe eat something before your appointment know that you might be a sore a little during that week so take some Tylenol or eat a lot of ice cream so this is your excuse to just go ahead and have some sweets. This is a very difficult wire to place in the insertion of the molar band. So this is what I'm talking about. Um, the wire is a little bit difficult to place on as you can see that it's kind of being stubborn not wanting to go into place 
Um, so like I said, just be patient. So once the wire is placed on one side, the other side is a lot easier to kind of just insert in. So quite a bit of leg ties are gonna go ahead and be placed on this wire as the wire can try to move at a different direction or shift the teeth at a different angle. We wanna make sure that it's retained pretty good. Make sure that if anything is poking you, you let your dental professional know. They just kind of go ahead and clip a little bit more of those leg ties or they tuck them in a little bit better to prevent any poking that are, could cause ulcers as well. Remember, if you get any ulcers, you can use a little bit of Aura Gel or just pack that wax on there so they can go ahead and get you seen to get it clipped. You can see that this wire has some hooks. You have a lot of lick ties in place. You're gonna have an upper two to two chain, meaning you'll have a, a chain, a power chain going from your upper left lateral to your upper right lateral. All this is gonna cause a lot of food impaction, food debris, calculus buildup, plaque buildup. Remember, you have to be diligent. In using those home care recommended products, we recommend to you that, that water pick is crucial when you are in braces as sometimes that toothbrush can't get around those brackets or those grooves as well. That water pick will go ahead and flush all that debris out. I promise you it makes a world of a difference and it becomes second nature to you when you're really religious with it. Remember that a cordless one is always going to be good as you can use it in the shower. You can take it anywhere where you go with you and you're less restricted because you're more efficient at using it, not having to worry about water being splashed everywhere. Now remember what I said, this wire has a lot of force. So what it's going to do, it's going to activate. And what I mean by that is that the little loops that you see on the top of the wire, the hooks, what we call Snoopy, Snoopy hooks, that is going to help close the spaces up here. As you can see, the wire was pulled back on the back, creating an opening that's activating. And within time, the patient's gonna start to have those spaces closed up. The wire is gonna close up as well. And then the next visit, you'll start to see the closed spaces. Stay tuned toward the end of the video. We're gonna go ahead and show you the progress pictures of the initial time of treatment until currently right now. This patient has made a huge progress and it just goes to show if you stay committed, the results that you can get. So what do you think about the video? Do y'all like it? Do you not? Do you have any questions? Always comment below. Comment on any content you'd like to see. I think this wire is pretty cool. It's really a fantastic way of kind of closing some spaces up. And you can also see firsthand how that wire starts to kind of close in its activation. Just want to take a moment in thanking everyone for liking or commenting our videos, sharing our videos, or always just being engaged. We really do try to put out some really good content out for you or try to answer all your questions that you all might have. We are getting close to reaching 200K. Hopefully by the end of the year, we can do that. Regardless, if we don't, we are still grateful for our growing channel and for you all for still engaging with us. So thank you again, and we hope to see you at the next video. Bye. This right here feels weird. content and you want to see more make sure you like subscribe and comment down below yeah.